Um, let's open up the Shore Trooper Captain and Bistan. Bistan? I don't know. Because we are now showing Rogue One at the MBX Films Theater. Talk about these characters in the movie and why you would uh, want to collect their action figures once we open it up. This big old two-pack box. Or Spiston, or I don't know how you want to pronounce it. One of those uh, wacky Star Wars aliens that you only learn the name after the movie, not during. He's got a big old fake toy s missile launcher, but we'll check that out anyway. Just going on about uh, Spiston. He's playing at Ayakarua? Ayakarua? That place. Let's just open it. Because I don't care about any of that stuff. I just care about figures for my Rogue One collection. Entire gun is covered in tape. Is this necessary? Just a standard shore trooper blaster. But this is the captain with all his very decorative colors. It makes him look pretty cool. I assume this would be about as high as a shore trooper gets with the number of markings that are on this dude. I love the helmet. Again, some of the first pictures from Rogue One where this Shore Trooper helmet just looked so, like, perfectly fit in with the world of Star Wars that I was like, these troops are gonna look pretty nice. Oh, man, his hand is so tiny. I don't know if this is gonna fit. Tiny hands, boy. Of course, these are just five points of articulation figures, basic, so all he can do is hold it out like a goon anyway. Woo! But uh, just having a different coloration for the Shore Trooper, that'll make a kind of a group of them look pretty cool in, the, in my collection, so I'd recommend that just for, you know, if you want to focus on vintage collection figures, but I do like the five points just because if we're not going to get it any other way, then at least, at least they're there and they're... I mean, he's got plenty of paint apps and he looks pretty accurate for the troop. And he's running by in some scene or can't think of any definitive scene when the captain is there it's just interesting to see the levels of one kind of troop you know just a couple rank marks on there but otherwise he's pretty much just like the other shore troops that we've had or scarif troopers whichever one you want to call them. that boy there a full tape you don't need a full tape on these guys appreciate it though Distin's more rebel looking blaster, I would say, just because the silver bits. Not that he really used this in the movie, he was a, a gunner in the new U Wing ships. And out. Oh, he's got a little tail coat. Didn't know about that. So again, he's just a four or five point articulation, but big old chunky head. <laughs> you can see the ball just kind of sitting in this rim. It's like he has like a spacesuit, but without like the bubble helmet. Like they just kind of doesn't seem like a form fitted thing unless, I don't know, maybe he does do some space stuff, but it's a very unique mold and design for this guy, the head. I don't know, that's, that's a little above and beyond a fifth point of articulation with the bobble around. So his suit's not super decked out with the details. I mean, the molding's all there, but definitely missing some of the colors on him, but I'm always desperate for like crazy aliens. I don't know why the Rebel Alliance is isn't made up of more aliens in the movies. There just must be a lot of human planets. I just figured it'd just be, the Rebel Alliance would be tons of aliens, but awesome to see him in the movie, so I definitely wanted the figure of him. I really want to figure that other little dude that was on Jeddah. I thought he was like a cooler. Like when I when I watched the movie the first time, I don't know if I noticed Bistan here all that much or Bistan, but I noticed the other guy. So kind of missing the figure of that guy, but Stan's more of a official Rebel Alliance guy. Pretty cool. We'll open the U-wing toy later just to check out for him. But he's a U-wing guy, not a pilot. He's just a gunner. He's just like from like some jungle planet or something. So he's just like he's used to being up high like that, not falling down. So he's he's the gunner up in the thing. Look at these. Whoa. Look at this. What the flittle trigger. I think if I was a kid playing with this I would have just used this as like a droid. It would have been like... It's a security droid that shoots missiles. Let's slide that some in there. How do we shoot it? Where's the trigger? Where's the button? Oh, okay. Oh, holy son of a... Ay, ay, strong. And it's a button one. It's not a stupid flick, so that's awesome. You can shoot them separate. Holy crap. Yeah, this is like a nice one. If you're into this sort of thing. I mean, it's not in the movie. I'm not gonna like display the dude with these, but God, these missiles are like... Oh, awfully strong. All right, buddy, let's see ya. Put it on. It does kind of click into place there. Go up to the little arm, like he's controlling there. Probably should have came with like a grounded turret kind of thing that was out of a U-Wing. Would have been at least maybe a more accurate accessory. It's still been able to maybe shoehorn in a missile thing, but I don't know what this thing is. If he had this in the movie, uh, he'd be doing a lot more damage. Where? Get this off. 
does just come with a blaster if you just want to have him hanging out like a little troop. This gun. I, mean, I put it in the right hand. I don't know. Maybe he's left handed. I shouldn't be biased like that, should I? New cannon. Biston is a lefty, guys. Make it real. Make it happen. <laughs> So this was a cool one just to add uh, an alien and a troop. Might as well grab it. Uh, I think it was harder to get pack, like it released later. I don't know, if you find it, it'd snag it if you liked Rogue One. You have a decent amount of Rogue One figs. An extra troop and a totally unique alien for the Rebel Alliance. That's, uh, that's a win-win there. I like it.